Coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 2015 Corvette that uh, his brother owns, had a custom interior put in it. I think y'all are going to like it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, modern day Corvette. It is, it is. Something a little different. Was it a C6? C7. C7. Yeah. What year? 15. Okay, yeah. cool. I remember... Um, You'd ask me, somebody asked a question when we was on live, what was the most challenging interior? That's probably it right you there. You found it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because GM did not make those cars to tear apart and recover. Everything's uh, heat riveted together, and we actually had to pull the windshield out of that car to even cover the dash. Holy I mean, cow. Nothing comes out. It's a, it's a, it was a major job. They put it together a minute for it to stay together. Oh yeah, it meant, it's meant to stay, not to pull apart and do anything to it. It so it was like, a challenge, but man, it looks good. Yeah, no, wow. it's, uh, it's different. Tell me what y'all did. Well, my brother Mike, he wanted something that nobody else has. You know, anybody can go buy whatever car, you know, factory car they want, but he wanted something that's totally custom, white interior, blue carpet. He's got blue LED lights on the outside of it, and we put white LED lights on the inside of it to really shine up the white. He just said, here you go. Call me when it's done, one of them kind of deals. And now he, he called me this morning. He's like, man, I'm excited. I want to drive. I said, you can't even touch it until I get Scotty over here to film it. Right, right. So, and Nate to do some pictures on it. But it, it's turned out and good. And I got up extra early this morning because I knew Mike. I was thinking, man, if that was my car, <laughs> I'd want it back. And I know they're waiting on me. So, yeah, no, I got up early this morning to think I'm going to get him his car. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, Easter weekend. Beautiful so. sunny day. Right. The weather's warming up. I mean, so, yeah, it's it's really cool. You got Morris and Giles going in there? It does. It has a Moors and Giles uh, Arctic white leather. So that I appreciate Chris and them working with us. It, it really turned out nice. What it, about it the uh, blues you used in there? The only blue, well, the blue, I don't know exactly where. I got the blue over here in Knoxville at a local trim shop uh, okay. supplier place. They, I've, I've searched every, everywhere to trying to find a blue that matched that carpet that's in there. They had some over at Foam Rubber Outlet, and uh, I got just enough. To, I just needed a little bit of accent just to make the white really pop. And the blue carpet, we got it from ACC Carpets and right. stuff. Right, those are good folks. They yeah. gave us carpet for the Yukon. Yeah, so yeah well, that's good. good. He wanted a brilliant, brilliant, bright blue. So, I mean, that's about as bright a blue as you can get. I but think so. It turned out really nice. Everybody, when I first showed them the carpet, was like, what? They're done? But when it's all together, it's just like everything. You know, you got to be able to step out of the box to have something different. Right, for sure. And you, know, you so. used the blue stitching and yeah. some kind of a diamond pleat. Yeah, we used the diamond pleat in the seats and then the door panel inserts and uh, the bright blue. Now, this, is the one, this is the one you told me that the pleats you made them come down to a point to match the stingray or something, right? Well, the it's. Here, I got you confused with another car. <laughs> well, they actually do because I mean, you know, if you see how the design on the on those are, and then there's the design on the stingray emblem on the side, yeah. they sort of come down to a point, right. and that's the same way that those stitching do. They come from a, a wide pleat or a wide um, diamond into a point. Right. So yeah, yeah. It, it matches up really neat. Yeah, whether you meant to or not, hey. I think that's what it looks like. I meant to do that. Yes. You know how that goes. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, no, it, it turned out really sharp. And you were able to get it back together. Everything's working. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, everything works good. Um, How'd you hook up LED lights? That's kind of a trick, too, isn't it? It is, because you cannot run anything off of the factory. You can't connect to anything, because nothing gives you a solid power. Right. So, the battery's in the trunk of the car, so we actually run a separate wire for the whole LED lighting system. Okay. If you notice, the, the top has a... LED light in the headliner, and what we did, we put pin switches up in the head, up in the front, to where when you put the top lid on it, right. it'll it'll actually makes contact with that, and then you turn it on and off from the bottom underneath the dash with the on off switch. So you're telling me that switch in the in the in the roof panel, that thing that looks like a connector from the factory wasn't there you all added that right yeah we put all that I in thought there. that was factory i thought <laughs> that powered that thing like there must have been an interior light or something from the factory yeah. so when you popped it in it did that wow man no i didn't realize that you put that in yeah we put all that in there and that was one of the things that mike wanted he wanted to, to be able to put an led light or something in that roof panel so that when you're driving at night you can actually turn it on and see because the factory lights didn't really give off too much lighting and you all even added a headliner. We added a headliner and an overhead console. Okay. So my brother, he, he wanted something he can put his sunglasses in. He right. said, there's nowhere to put anything on these Corvettes, and there's not. Right. You got a, you got about an inch tray when you open up your center console there, and there's just really not a lot of room. Of course, it wasn't made for, right, right. you know. Two people and having fun. That's what yeah, it was exactly. about, right? Yeah. Bring your 
keys, your wallet, and some money. That's what else do you need. You got a Corvette. Yeah, because I use mine for a truck, so. All right, well, <laughs> yes. We've talked about how you treat your cars in the past, but uh, Mike doesn't do that. He bought this thing brand new. Well, he, he bought it just a couple years old. Okay. So it was practically a brand new car when he right. got it, yeah. So, and, uh, of course, when, uh, when I take off of here at the end of the video, I can I can nail it and spin the tires on his car, so that's my brother. Right on. So, yeah, what are brothers <laughs> customer, for? I mean, other customers, I'm like, eh. Right. But he lets me drive that, and, you know, I'm about the only one he trusts to drive his car. I don't know why. <laughs> I know it. He, he, don't must know. Not, he must not follow <laughs> videos from out here. No, yeah. I think you and the boys nailed it, and uh, it's always cool to see you put your uh, touch on a modern car, too. You know, let people know. It doesn't matter. You can do the old stuff, the new stuff, whatever you got. It can be done. I, I would just about guarantee there's not another Corvette out there with, that's went to that extreme on changing the interior and stuff. Because, right. I mean, we change every single thing that you can change. They all come pretty much black inside. Right. And we change everything. From Even dash, there's some kind panels. of marble trim in it. Yeah, he, he. I told him, I said, just look for something that you want. And he, you know, we looked through some different things, and then that was the closest that looked really neat with the car. Right. You know, just to, it, that don't look cheap, you know. Right. So he wanted something to look elegant, you know. I mean, that thing looks like a Bugatti interior right, or something right, like that. Right, you know? right, right, exactly what it so. looks like. Now, again, y'all nailed it. Good job. Thank you, Scotty. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, 2015 Chevrolet Corvette. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.